more than 25 years, 63-year-old Barry Freinel has presided as rabbi at the Kesher Israel Synagogue in Washington, D.C.'s Georgetown area. During this period, Freinel secretly videotaped at least 150 women as they privately disrobed in the ritual Jewish bath known as a mikvah. His actions were uncovered when a member of the synagogue discovered a hidden camera secreted in a digital thought. Investigators raided the mikvah where they discovered additional cameras and a fan in a tissue box container. As part of the plea, Freundel said that he utilized up to three recording devices at the same time to obtain different angles of each woman being recorded. Videos of the women in various stages of undress were also found on the hard drive of Freundel's computer. The rabbi has pleaded guilty to 52 counts of voyeurism and will learn his fate at a hearing in May. Each count carries a potential one-year sentence, though most doubt he will be required to serve all 52 years. U.S. Attorney Robert Mechon Jr. released a statement which read in part, We will be seeking a prison sentence that reflects the gravity of this disturbing assault on the privacy and dignity of so many victims. At the time of this report's writing, a trial was underway in the state of New Jersey involving Lakewood Orthodox rabbi named Mendel Epstein, who has been accused of masterminding the kidnapping and torture of several Jewish men in order to compel their agreement in a traditional Jewish divorce known as a get. Evidence in the trial included a secretly taped meeting with the rabbi and two undercover FBI agents posing as brother and sister, seeking to help obtain a divorce for the ersatz sister. The video footage portrays Epstein asking the pair for $60,000 so he can have his tough guys kidnap the husband and then subject him to such influencers as cattle prods and karate. The rabbi also tells the pair that he used the technique several times in the past and never fails to get the desired result. Epstein's lawyers do not deny any of the accusations, but insist that it does not rise to the level of felony kidnapping, as nonviolent force of this matter is allowed under Jewish law. Epstein's co-defendants include two other rabbis and Epstein's son. Narendra Modi, who swept into power in an election last year, has been Prime Minister of India for only a few months, but there are already those who would worship him as a god, that is, if he would only let them. Upon hearing that several of his supporters had dedicated a temple in his honor, complete with a sedentary statue of his visage upon the sanctum, Modi took to Twitter to criticize the project. The Prime Minister tweeted, Have seen the news about a temple being built in my name. I was appalled. This is shocking and against India's great traditions. He followed this tweet with two more, concluding with a statement that those who wish to honor him would better serve him by participating in his Clean India campaign. Saddened that the Prime Minister was not overjoyed by their worship, members of the group who had planned the veneration have now decided to replace the image of Modi with one of Bharat Mata, a minor Hindu deity. Idolatry is not specifically proscribed in Hindu belief. 